Hi, I'm Ari Batali. Hello to everybody on BetterRecipes.com. You should try out my new book. It's all about simple food, Italian style, and it's called Molto Gusto. So I am here at the Home and Houseware Show with Mario Batali. Thank you so much for joining me today. My pleasure to be here. So I saw your demonstration today. Can you tell us a little bit more about your recipes that you made today? Today I made uh, two recipes from my new book mm -hmm. called Molto Gusto. Very simple Italian cooking at home. I made bugatini or spaghetti a la matriciana, mm -hmm. which is with guanciale but could be with bacon, uh, onions, tomatoes, a little pecorino, and I made pizza. So what are your uh, tips for making pizza at home to make it as good as I like to enjoy at Pizzeria Mozza? Uh, well, it'll never taste exactly like Pizzeria Mozza because that's a wood-burning oven, uh, but what you can do at home without any fancy equipment is make a relatively light, relatively pliant, relatively crisp, and nicely charred crust with simple, not overwrought use of ingredients, which makes a lot of sense. I think one of the keys to understanding really good home-cooked pizza is not putting too much of anything on it. I think a lot of Americans get carried away with what's called the, the works, mm -hmm. and it challenges the dough, and the dough's never up to the whole task of that many things. So ingredients-wise, what are some, some key ingredients that you think people should stock their kitchen with that will up the ante of their cooking? Well, you need to find a really good extra virgin olive oil, you need to find a really good sea salt, you need to find a great source of tomato paste and um, canned tomatoes. You need to find really good, cheap, inexpensive red wine vinegar. You need to find a good source of Parmigiano-Reggiano, good anchovies, homemade breadcrumbs. And I could go on for days. <laughs> but I mean, if you can lower down in your pantry the list to 15 ingredients that you use the most and categorically try to upgrade the quality of each one of those by tasting a bunch of them and deciding maybe even to stay with your original one, mm -hmm. but maybe not, maybe you move on. Once you start to notice the flavor of your food getting better, it's because the basis, the, the ingredients that are in almost everything are the ones that taste the best. So how do you get your, you have two sons, is that right? Yeah. And how do you get them involved in the kitchen? They like to cook, as long as they have a job. As long as they're participating, they don't really enjoy just watching, but as long as they can do something with me, then they're involved all the time. What's their favorite thing to do? They'll do just about anything. I mean, they eat everything. They like to cook. They, I think probably making r fresh ravioli, making fresh pasta is probably the funnest thing. And uh, are they ever picky eaters, or have you trained them well? Yeah, the trick to training them well is not to train them. Uh. Never introduce an ingredient as if, today we're trying, dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. You just put it on the table, and, and everyone eats it. Mm -hmm. If you ask my 11-year-old what his favorite thing to eat is right now, mm -hmm. he will tell you duck testicles. <laughs> just to get your goat. He likes them. <laughs> I like duck, but I can't say I've had that, so maybe I'll have to try it. Sometimes they're just <laughs> tough to give up the testicles. <laughs> um, so I've read some things about you, and we have a lot in common. We redheads, both like to cook, and also both theater majors. Yeah. So tell me, I was a theater major at Northwestern, and I, was, I like that I read that you were. Um, what, how do you see similarities between theater and cooking? Well, it's a nightly experience. You have to prepare for everything, and then all of a sudden everyone shows up at once. <laughs> and you have to give them something that hopefully they're enjoying, uh -huh. uh, impress them with your style, uh, interpret something that they may have seen or heard before, oh, that's true, that's true. and you want to leave them hungry enough to want to come back. So, do you have any other upcoming shows? Everyone loved the, the show in Spain with Gwyneth Paltrow. Are you planning anything similar in any other countries I'm with any other actors? right now. Will you tell me with One whom? Of which is in Sicily with a guy named Phil Rosenthal, uh -huh. uh, who wrote Everyone Loves Raymond. Oh, okay. And uh, probably Meryl Streep and Stanley Tucci. May I and please go? Please. <laughs> if you happen to be there <laughs> at the just same melted time. A bit. <laughs> and then I'm working on another show that would be uh, taped live once weekly, um, kind of an entertaining idea of me talking and teaching people how to cook based on a theme uh, and a region in Italy every week. Oh, wow. So the, the one with Meryl Streep and Stanley Tucci, that would be in, in Sicily? In Sicily. Oh, and have you ever cooked with Meryl Streep? I've been many times cooking with Meryl Streep. Really? And yeah. tell me, how is her skills She's in the kitchen? She's great. She's yeah. great at everything she does, honestly. I know, scary. <laughs> so you know what? I, she doesn't make a big deal out of all the yeah. things she does, and that's probably why she's really so good yeah. at it. Yeah. I, I think she should have won the Oscar. What do you think? She's already won Oscars. I know, but she needs many. I think she'll get more. I mean, I, I believe because uh, Mr. Tucci has uh, suggested the 16 nomination cap, that maybe she'll never get any more. Nah. 
I don't think so. Yeah. Um, I think that's about all I have for today. Is there anything else you want to tell us about your products or, um, you know, your, well, your I'm cookware? Proud, I'm proud to be here in Chicago. I love this town. I love its gastronomy. I love that a restaurant like Hot Dugs exists in the same town that a place like Blackbird yeah. exists and Charlie Trotter's. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's the greatest show for this kind of a group of people to come in. This is an unusual booth in that there's no other booths that are single person, all categories. Mm -hmm. So it works out well, it's mm -hmm. fun, and we're seeing a lot of very interesting people come through here. Do you ever plan on opening a restaurant in Chicago? Never. Never? No. Why do you hurt us like this? I don't hurt you. I just, <laughs> it's, you're too serious of a town for me to open a restaurant and not come to it. Oh, uh, okay. Because I live in New York. Yeah. Well, and I have restaurants in Los Angeles, uh, but that's because Nancy Silverton's my partner there, uh -huh. so she's there every day. Yeah. And we have restaurants in Las Vegas that's a little bit different than everything else. But like a really gastronomically serious town, I don't have yet. I haven't figured out a way that I could do it that I would be satisfied and that Chicagoans would be satisfied. Oh, okay. And I wouldn't want to leave either of us disappointed. I gotcha. I gotcha. Grazie mille. Prego. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ma